Hello there folks, the Schofield Saga, just when it looks like it's all dying down, breaking news yesterday, don't know if you've heard it, if you've not I'll give you sort of a general roundup. Um, transpires that uh, a senior manager on the Loose Women show has sent an email in to Kevin Ligo and his team, Ligo is the number two behind Carolyn McCall on the um, daytime ITV roster there, he runs things for herself and him and his team got sent an email by a senior manager on Loose Women in early 2020 regarding the young boy, the boy that Schofield had been seeing and had the affair with regarding his, regarding his mental health and, and his actual the state and how he was at that time um, many people on the show were very very worried about him and this senior manager he, we've not got a name on him yet but he says he sent the email to try to create a paper trail so as there was always some evidence there to say that they were all worried on um, loose women about his mental health and they hoped that somebody higher up would do something about it they never did LIGO is saying that he never seen anything he doesn't recollect this email though someone from his team from LIGO's team sent somebody else an email about this young boy in early 2021 still two years before um Schofield actually left the show um, and LIGO for all its this second email has been sent from one of his team doesn't seem to know a lot about this email either for all it's from one of his team anyway it just it just stinks a little doesn't it I mean what you've got now is you've got Carolyn McCall when they've had the recent uh, parliamentary inquiry uh, with the committee there she's saying that she's really worried about Philip Schofield and ITV are paying money towards his um, is it a psychiatrist to deal with his mental health because of his unstable situation at the moment? This is Schofield, who now is 61, who was on over £700,000 a year from the, the show, just from that show, without the other shows he's done and all his other advertising stuff. Um, he's getting his um, mental health stuff sorted out by ITV. Um, yet the boy, when he needed it in 2020, 2021, got nothing. What they did to the young boys when the affair ended with Schofield, he got moved from this morning to Loose Women, didn't want to be. I believe a guy on uh, Loose Women lost his job to make way for this young boy, who I believe was very good at the job. Uh, Schofield's young boy, as I say, got the job, and then surprisingly got finished up and paid off. No doubt they paid him off to get him out of the building, away from the channel, and hoped the whole thing would go away and die down. It did for a year or two, although not on social media. But obviously, as we all know now, four or five, six weeks ago, whatever it may have been, because time is flying, it all came out in the wash. And I'm sure further down the line, now they're doing this independent review, other things will too as well. Because I think that you'll find that there's many people in the media, in the back rooms, the back staff of This Morning and uh, Loose Women, have got a lot to say. And I'm sure they're just waiting for the opportunity. Um, as I've always said, I think there's a lot more to come out. I think there is. But I think all this is showing is just adding further um, credence to the fact that ITV, the big wigs there, did absolutely nothing about nothing. They've known absolutely loads, pretended to know nothing, and thus far denied they've known anything. But it's all going to come out in the end, and heads will definitely, definitely roll. It's only a matter of time.